A Luzerne County family whose loved one died in a brutal 2004 murder says only now do they have closure. We learned this week that the man who killed 20-year-old Carrie Martin in 2004 has died in prison. Several members of Martin's family spoke with Eyewitness News lead IT reporter Andy Mahalshik about the horrible crime and the death of the man behind it. When you see this and you found out that the man who took your daughter's life, he's now dead, what, what were you thinking? That this chapter is done, I, I felt relief. I felt, I think it's a type of closure that we don't have any more appeals, there's no more court stuff, and that she could rest in peace. Wendy Cadwalder has made this walk countless number of times into the I-Town Cemetery to visit her daughter's grave. But now these visits are very different. Now the 42-year-old Joseph Gotcha is dead. Gotcha was found dead inside his cell at the state prison of Fayette County on Monday. He was convicted of the 2004 murder of Carrie Martin, 20 years old, inside her Larksville apartment. He stabbed her dozens of times during a robbery. I could concentrate on just keeping Carrie's memory and the happy things, not all the bad things that happened with what he did to her. And all the bad, you know, it was always about how she died and who killed her and how many times she was stabbed. And I'm not reliving that anymore. Her daughter was the Luzerne County Fair Queen and loved horses. Her grandparents showed us a portrait of her painted in her honor and on their Christmas tree, an ornament with a photo on it. Oh, it's closure to us, you know, uh, at least to me. Uh, it's, it's been a tough 15 years, especially for Wendy. At least for us, we know, you know, uh, he won't be brought up in the um, prison system again. Um, you know, we know where he is now. And this mother had a message to other parents. Make sure you love your kids. Make sure no matter what, when you say, when they walk out the door, you tell them you love them, give them a hug. You don't know. You don't know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. She left my house, and the next morning she was gone. Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News. Now, a second man arrested for Martin's murder, Daniel Kakuchka, killed himself in prison just days after his arrest in 2004. Meanwhile, according to published reports tonight, the lead investigator believes drugs smuggled into the prison may have contributed to Gotcha's death this week. The Fayette County coroner is awaiting autopsy toxicology results, which could take up to three months.